Welcome to FieldTech USA. And here today, we're gonna talk about something really special. We're gonna be talking about the Vision FT line, more specifically, FT700. Right behind me, I have it straight from the 70s, a blown Cuda. Pretty cool car, right? But guess what? It's not just blown, it's blown EFI. And with that EFI, we have a 700 on this vehicle. And with this thing, let's use it as a tool. Let me show you guys some of the features that the 700 has. And as we do that, show how this thing works, this puppy works with the 700. So my name is Luis De Leon. Come with me and let's take a look on this vehicle. We here inside, we have the 700 stall on the car. It's a fairly simple deal. As you guys can see, this is not no museum piece, you know, it's already modified. So um, I'm gonna turn it on and let's check the unit. So the 700 comes with a seven inch display, right? Um, I just built up really quick this dashboard. I thought it was really cool. It's like a Nicolas Cage edition of the CUDA, right? So uh, as you guys can see, there's plenty of room for different gouges. And um, uh, I actually did a couple more that they don't, they don't match at all this car, but I just want to show you guys the possibilities of this thing, right? So the unit as now can hold four dashes, right? Different dashes. And I made four different ones. So the first one is this one. You guys can see the CUDA. My next one, it's based on um, some concept that we built the neon deal, right? So it, it integrates a lot of stuff like uh, EV stuff. We're not going to be using on this car, but at least you guys can see some of this stuff. The next one is like a, a vintage Mercedes style, right? So you guys can do that kind of stuff, right? And the following one is just like a blank. So it's, it's just a blank so you guys can see, we can build a lot of stuff from this thing. Um, one of the coolest things that I personally think about it is as we progress into more technology, we obviously building this new family with uh, wireless communication, right? So the unit has not just Bluetooth, and not just Wi-Fi, it has both. So they have their own benefits. So sometimes Bluetooth will be more useful for you. Sometimes Wi-Fi will be more useful for you. So uh, at this moment, uh, let's do this. Let me grab my laptop and uh, this is cool, no cables, right? I'm gonna grab my laptop and I'm gonna unlock and I will connect to my FT700. So I'm gonna open up my software, boom. As you can see, the software opens really quick. And I can see on this side, it's already saying, like I'm connected through the Wi-Fi, and uh, it sees that the 700 that I already label as FT USA is connected. So I previously spare the unit with the laptop. So there is a lot of security and encryption through this. So you need code to do it. I already did it. We're gonna do this in a second, but let, let me go through this one first. So I'm gonna just connect it, right? Boom, it is connected. You already tell me that I have two different tunes and I have three logs on it. That's, that's really cool, I can see it, right? right? So I'm gonna read ECU, right? Boom, really quick, really seamless. Uh, let me just take a look, right? So this is my main field table, right? I have my 3D graph. You can see my real time working, right? Tem engine temperature, battery, stuff like that, you know, simple stuff. And uh, uh, let me see the dashboard. Let's see what we have in the dashboard. So interface settings and dashboard setup, right? Let me make this larger so we can see. Ah, this is really cool. Okay, let me set up my dash. So as you can see, as I'm doing, the dashboard setup, it's still live. So I can still see live my manifold pressure, my absolute pressure sensor is barely moving, right? Fuel pressure, stuff like that, the engine temp live is pretty cool because you can see, you can see the gauges working as you are making the setup for this thing, right? So I don't know, I have a big speed on the middle, right? I'm gonna do like a quick change just so you guys see it. I can click on this guy and just like make it smaller or make it larger or just like drag right and drop you have those uh, hint lines that tell you you see on purple 
that can tell if I'm aligned right on the middle of different one or right on top of the next one. It makes it really easy. Let me add something, right? So I'm going to do add gauge, asking me what I want, right? So I have a lot of stuff here. Let me see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. EGT average, right? So I have EGTs on this thing. I'm going to make a different EGT. I'm going to change to a vertical bar and the style. We have some styles right now. We're going to have something different. I'm going to do vintage, created. So as you can see, it's huge, right? So I have EGT average temperatures, pretty large one. I'm going to make it smaller, right? I'm going to move my speed to the side. I'm going to leave this my EGT average up and down right there, right? Fairly simple. Finish the gauge. So let's confirm, right? It's saved. And let's do right ECU, override current map. Let's send the new gauge to the unit. Here you go. We have a new gauge, EGT average on a old school style gauge that goes up and down. Like it don't make no sense compared to the other gauges that I have, but I was just trying to make an example for you guys, right? So um, let's go into another one that's really quick, cell phone, okay? So as we were talking, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and stuff like that, the all modern cell phones have that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna unlock my cell phone I'm gonna open the 700 software, but this is the deal. I never use this cell phone with this unit, okay? So we're gonna pair them first. So before I pair, I need to make the 700 allow to be paired, right? So this is the master unit. If you don't allow through the ECU, nobody can connect to it, okay? So I'm gonna go to the unit, click right on this corner, and hold on the Wi-Fi. She gave me a number. I'm gonna come to my cell phone, Go to Wi-Fi devices, add new device right there. That's the same unit. Click on it. She's asking for the number. Let's type it in. 82.99.77. Done. Confirm. They are syncing. Yeah. Got it. They are connected. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. So now if I go, let me see where I use my dashboard. Right here. You can see it's live, changing numbers live. So whatever is happening on the ECU right here, I can see live on this guy, right? So let me see what's going on. Let's go to injection tables again, just it's the same thing. Look at that. All my fuel tables live, right? The car is not running, so it's stuck on zero boost, zero vacuum. So I can see, I can do zoom in straight on this cell phone and I could do a change live. So I can, I don't know, let's grab this part of the tune. I can grab and hold, select the whole section, maybe add a little pull swift to this thing. So seamless connection, Re really cool connection that you can do through the cell phone. The car is running, you can do changes on the fly, okay? So let's do this. Let's go back to the ECU, okay? We already talked about going Wi-Fi and stuff like that, but the ECU itself is a powerhouse, right? One of the cool things that we have on the 700 and 700 plus not just it has a lot of memory, so 64 gigabytes, right? So I, I don't even know how to put in numbers for you guys. How many tunes and how many hours of logging? So if you guys racing, I don't know, endurance race, four hours, six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, you're good. If you're drag racing, maybe you're never going to delete your logs anymore. You're going to keep all of them on the unit. I don't know, but it's a lot of memory. What I do know is this, not just a lot of memory, we can see the logs on the unit. That's freaking cool. So let's go that. Uh, main, main features right there. Go to data logger, right? And I have two logs. I just briefly just record just to see. I'm gonna open one. So click, load log. Yes, yes, I wanna load it. Boom. So now I can check whatever happened. So this will be crazy useful. You know, if you're trying to do some kind of tuning and you don't have your laptop or you came back from a run and you don't have your laptop yet. You're waiting for the crew to pick you up or you broke your laptop. You, you lost your cell phone, you know. Now it's all in one, guys. You can do not just the tuning, but the data analysis is straight on the unit, right? Um, another cool thing, right? Uh, the unit is really easy to work with and she has built-in O2 conditioners, right? So let's, let's go on the O2 conditioners just to show. Um, I go on calibration and 
this is all the bunch of features that we already preset for you guys for sensors and stuff all the way close to the end we're going to see right there internal o2 conditioner number one and two so two channels to activate a feature is fairly simple we just click and hold on activate yes activate so she's on let me do both right so now i have both o2 working now single click I can set up. Look how cool is that. So what sensor I want to use? Bosch 4.249 or 5.2 or NTK. I can do the calibration and stuff like that. Everything is straight on the dash. Really simple. The cool thing is as we've been using and developing and testing this stuff, we've been constantly adding stuff, right? So everything that we have from the Power FT line and more, right? Well, I think it's uh, time to stop talking about the 700. Let's, let's crank this baby and hear this thing running because uh, I know how it sounds, but you guys don't know yet. So let me crank it up. Yeah. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. We were able to cover a little bit of what the 700 has to offer to you guys. So there's plenty more to come. So make sure you follow us through all the social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And if you guys have any kind of specific questions about the 700, drop a comment below. We're gonna try to reply as soon as we can, okay? So thank you so much for staying with us and see you guys next time.